What's up y'all, it's Timmy. And today we're gonna be adding this here Viper concave foot pad to the front of the one wheel to make it way more comfortable and keep me way more in control. So let's get to it. Welcome to Truck House Live, baby. First off, I want to let you guys know this is not a sponsored video. I paid full price for this product on my own because I did a bunch of research, read a lot of stuff, and this just seemed like the way to go, so we're going to find out. So as you guys can see, I got myself a one wheel XR here, and I've done a couple modifications to it already. The biggest mod I've done to this thing so far is add this rear concave foot pad to it. It's made by Landsurf, it's called the Platypus, and it's sweet. You can see how it's all wide and whatnot and it just makes it way more comfortable to ride. I don't get any foot fatigue with the rear pad, but I have a stock front pad. And today, what we're gonna do is install this concave front pad for the board, and it's made by Street Shred. And it's called the Viper, and uh, I've got a good feeling about it. So most of the aftermarket concave pads that I've seen for the one wheel, for the front, uh, seem to be made of foam. So I feel like when if you flip your one wheel or roll it and it hits a bunch of rocks, it's gonna rip that foam all off. But that's probably the main reason I went with the Viper, besides the good reviews and uh, reviews that it doesn't mess with your sensor too much. Uh, it's a really nice rubberized material, almost like silicone, and it's got a significant concave. And uh, it just feels really durable and really soft too at the same time, like it's gonna absorb a whole bunch of road vibrations. So they send you that and then you're gonna get the grip tape that comes with it, which is also, looks like it's pre-concaved out, so that's cool. And that has 3M sticky stuff in the bottom. And then they send you this adhesive pad to mount the foot pad to the grip tape. So this thing actually sticks to the top of the grip tape. If you get on the Street Shed website, it might be a little bit confusing when you go to buy the Viper front concave pad. It makes it look like it's just the pad. But the Viper pad, when you buy it new, comes with the 3M mounting pad. So if you want to uh, remove this pad in the future, you have to buy a new mounting pad. So don't buy an extra 3M pad. Uh, the 3M pad comes with the Viper concave foot pad, so just so you know. So let's install this Viper concave foot pad in the front of this one wheel and go test it out. Let's get to it. So Street Shed recommends for the Viper pad that your board have less than 500 miles or ideally be a brand new board essentially. So the grip tape's not all messed up and the sensor's new. And that's just to uh, keep any issues out of hand that might come up with the foot sensor. I'd recommend doing this on a, a newish board. If you do it on an older board, it's at your own risk. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is make sure your grip tape is as clean as possible. That way the 3M adhesive pad will stick to it. So I've already cleaned this off the best I could. Probably doesn't look super clean, but this board only has about 40 miles on it. So it's pretty new. So I should be good to go knock on wood. So first off, if you have a fender or flight fins or anything in your board, you actually want to leave your fender on for the installation. Reason being is if you install this pad and then you put your fender on and it pushes down, the viper pad at any point it might mess your sensor up so don't do that so make sure you leave your fender or your flight fins on next thing you're going to do is get your foam adhesive pad and just go ahead and put it on there to test it out and just see how it's going to look so you basically try to line this 3m adhesive foam piece up with the edges of your grip tape everywhere and this uh, 3m is going to overhang your grip tape everywhere just a little bit so let's do that so I'm just kind of test fitting it. And you can see how I have the 3M lined up right in the edge of the grip tape everywhere. So looking pretty good. So let's go ahead and peel off the bottom of the 3M adhesive. And we're going to press it firmly in the center and try to work the air bubbles outwards the best we can. And when you're eyeballing it, make sure to uh, not only consider the front edge lining up well, but your sides, try to even them out. This 3M adhesive pad does hang over the grip tape slightly on the sides. It's supposed to, so that's fine. Just try to get it as even as you can. All right, so what I'm gonna do is start at the front of the board. That way I can line this up as best I can. Peel off the corner there. 
And I'm going to work the this adhesive cover down just a little bit, like so, just a few inches. And fold that under like that. So now I'm going to line up the front edge of this adhesive 3M foam up to the front edge of my grip table and it's sitting right on top of it. So let's do that. Try to set it right on it. And just eyeball it the best you can and just push down just a little bit just to hold it in place. And there we go. And now we're going to just hold the front down where you had it. You're gonna reach under, grab the 3M tape cover and start peeling it back. And as you do so, just kind of shimmy your hand across the top of the foam and try to push down everywhere as you're peeling up on the cover. And there you have it. So now what I'm gonna do is start in the center of the 3M tape, push down really hard and outwards. So I'm just working out all the air bubbles from the center outwards in every direction. And I just want to get a really good bond with this 3M adhesive pad to the actual grip tape. This 3M adhesive pad will never stick better to this grip tape than right now. So just do your best to really make it stick. Push it down solid and get all those air bubbles out. So now our next step is to take this nice silicone rubber concave overlay, the Viper pad, and we're going to set it on top of this 3M tape and do the same thing. Just really try to push the center air bubbles out towards the edges everywhere and lock it in solid. So keep in mind, this rubber silicone pad actually hangs over this 3M pad pretty much everywhere. So um, it's, which makes it a little bit difficult to line up. But what I'm gonna do to line this up, you guys notice my screws for the foot pad right there, the two Allen key screws. I'm gonna set the rubber pad on here just to pre-line it up just for fun. And what I'm going to do is make sure I'm fairly close to where I wanna be on the front and the sides. And once I've lined up the front and the sides about where I want, I'm going to stare at the pad right where the foot pad screws are and just kind of see what it looks like, see how far it is from the fender and just try to visualize that the best I can. So once I pull off this 3M backing, I'm going to carefully set the silicone pad down using the foot pad screws and the fender to kind of line me up about where it needs to be. So let's do that. This is the scariest part. So what I'm doing, I'm kind of hovering over the front of the pad. You don't want any part of this to touch until you're ready to go for it. So just get this lined up the best you can. And it really is sticky. The second it touches, you'll feel it start to stick. Now the pad's already sticking, so it's on there. I'm completely committed. So I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I'm gonna start in the center of the pad and push out as hard as I can and try to work all those air bubbles out. I'm gonna go all the way around in a circle, pushing all those air bubbles out. And don't be scared to really put your weight in this thing and really try to push those air bubbles out the best you can. So what's gonna mess you up is if there's big air bubbles under here and the pad is not touching the sensor all the way that could make your board turn off or make it ghost or do all this weird stuff. It's pretty sticky stuff. And right now, even if I pull up really hard on that, it's uh, it's pretty darn sticky. As you guys can see, the rubber pad, like I was saying, it overhangs the one wheel just a little bit on both sides, so that's normal. And it does the same in the front. You can see how there's a slight overhang to it. So now the final part, we have to put this contoured grip tape onto the silicone rubber pad here, so let's do it. So for the grip tape part, I'm gonna start on the fender side and roll forwards towards the concave. So we're going to peel this 3M adhesive backing just back a couple inches here until it's off this little hammerhead looking part. And work it down past the corners a little bit. Same deal, you fold this 3M adhesive backing, it's kind of under like that. And we're going to set it down on here the best you can. What you wanna do is line the bottom part of the grip tape up with the bottom part of the rubber pad here. And then when you do that, just try to center it out the best you can also. And once you find that sweet spot, go ahead and lock in the grip tape just a little bit. And we're gonna do the same technique. I'm gonna hold the grip tape down, peel this 3M all the way up, and set it right on down onto it. And what you wanna do is keep the weight of your hand kind of rolling along, pushing the grip tape down evenly as you pull the 3M adhesive backing out. As you're moving along, 
Make sure to really push in hard along the edges where the concave forms. You want to make sure that grip tape mates really good to the silicone rubber part. There you go. Now what I do is start in the center and try to push all those air bubbles out towards the edges just like you are doing before. You can hear it kind of scrunch. You can hear the air bubbles if they're in there. And there you have it guys, that's it. So there's the add-on right there, the Viper Overlay Concave Front Foot Pad. Pretty awesome. I think it's gonna get the job done pretty well. I don't know if you guys can see how concave that is. What's crazy is this Viper Overlay Pad actually looks significantly more concave than my rear platypus pad, so that's pretty cool. So now we're going to do the moment of truth. We're gonna see if my board will balance itself and recognizes my feet. So let's do it. Sweet. We're good. And that's a good sign. Looks like the board's recognizing that my uh, feet are on the board, so I like it. Very cool. Woo. All right, we get the Viper front concave foot pad on. I'm pretty excited about it because my front foot always gets super tired riding around on that stock pad. So like I was saying before, I installed this platypus rear pad on the board and I don't have any foot fatigue, but my front foot was having foot fatigue and getting all crampy after a few miles of riding with the stock pad. So we will see if it's improved with this new Viper concave pad. So let's go check it out. I'm excited. Man, so almost immediately I'm noticing way less vibration than there was before, so that's pretty awesome. Uh, my foot feels way more locked in. I like it. I like it a lot. This front foot pad feels awesome. It's super comfortable compared to the flat pad. You know what's really funny is now my front foot is less tired than my rear foot because there's more of a concave to the front. So that's pretty awesome. Yeah, I am, uh, I'm digging it. I feel way more locked in than I did with the stock foot pad. I mean, you can see the concavity to that, but uh, yeah, it feels awesome. Super happy so far. Let's continue the ride. I can't tell you guys how much better this feels. I feel like connected to the board. My rear pad made me feel pretty connected, but now I feel like fully connected to it. It almost feels like I have another tire on. This pad just makes it so much more maneuverable and grippy and solid and, and just comfortable too. It feels really good. Super happy with the investment. Let's, uh, let's get back to the pad here. That was freaking sweet. I knew it was gonna make a difference, but I didn't. I really did not think it'd make that much of a difference. The concave foot pad, I don't know why those don't come stock. Probably because they give you sensor issues eventually. Yeah, it's night and day difference. Ironically, now my back foot gets more tired than my front foot because uh, that Viper concave pad 
is more concave than my platypus rear pad. I guess it's something about just the concave shape just helps relieve foot fatigue. That's all I can gather. The other cool part is it really locks you in. I feel super connected to the board now. It makes it feel like I have like a narrower tire or something. I can just really manipulate the board really easy now. So I'm pretty stoked on it. Will it last? I have no idea, but right now I am very happy. I spent the money to get that thing and uh, can't wait to hit some trails with it. Anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had a good time making it because I was really excited to put this pad on and take it out for a test ride. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this or like other things. I try to do a video every week. We'll see you guys next time. Peace, y'all.